days that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. From a different place this morning. I, I was sitting here thinking, you know, last week they had a discussion about a man that brought his son to the disciples for delivery, and they could not deliver him. And uh, I, I've been trying to figure out, you know, so how, how do I get in position? so that I can be the vessel of the instrument that God wants to to bring my deliverance. Because I think that their situation is no different from ours. They were in days of warfare against the powers of darkness. That is still true right now. We have been called into a warfare uh, against the powers of darkness for the purpose of furthering the kingdom. And at some point, we've got to recognize that if we are going to be successful, if we are going to be useful, there's some things that we need to get in place. Or well, otherwise, you know, we can have discussions and we can talk about the thing. But when the rubber meets the road, we will be like those men. No. We'll learn what we need to do to avoid that failure. That makes sense. Somebody answer the question? Where my mind goes is that, for the most part, what, what I have observed, and that's just self-observation, is that when I find myself in situations where I have to employ this stuff, or a situation where I think I might have to employ it, I avoid that situation. And I find that for those, when you, when you say go beyond the conversation portion of it, the comfort zone is the conversation. The acquisition and the understanding is one thing. The implementation of it is totally different. And it's when we find ourselves in those circumstances that require that we do that. I think we, uh, we through repetition, I think it, the more we find ourselves in those situations, we will actually yield to it. But eventually, but as a norm, we just avoid the situation, period. And, 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 and I think that's what has happened and why we saw the formation of the church as it, it, as it was, as it, as it had been established up to this point. We were not willing to go out and get in the face of people who did not understand or did not comply with whatever standards we thought were godly or ungodly. We didn't do it. We avoided it. And when we were in other circumstances like jobs and homes from the behavior of other people, more so than our own. Uh, and when I get in, got in an argument with my wife, where's the love, joy, and peace, and long suffering come in at that point? You know, where the selflessness and death to self comes in when I'm standing face to face to somebody that I got to take care of, but who just dis disagrees with what I'm saying. And, and those are those are kind of settings I think that we I habitually had kind of avoided. And even to now, even doing street ministry, there's an extent to which you want to go, and then you want to say, okay, this is where I'm going. 
Uh, you need to take a bath, <laughs> you know, before I put you in my car or one thing or another, you know. So I don't, I, I think that we are learning, but submitting to those circumstances that God allows us to enter into or should allow is not something that we're expert at yet. Most of us just avoid it. I think we, I think we say that too often. I think we, we you know, I, I, th- I don't think we really uh, put the focus on the thing that will really make a difference in the way we live. You know, I, I, I am, I am concentrating on discipleship because discipleship seems to be about application. It seems to be about not just discussion. Discipleship is about becoming. And what, what, I, what, what I'm finding that I need in my life is I need to, I need to be addressing those things that provoke me to the application. I, I, you know, I don't want to have to discuss it when it's all over. I, I shut the screen off and nothing changes. I want something that's going to follow me from this conversation into into looking at what I do when I leave the screen 